Oh, hello, hi, howdy, what's up? It's me, Holly, and today we're here with my new series, Doing Face Masks and Spilling Tea. Even though I only drink water, we'll be spilling the tea, you know? Right into the Boston Harbor, as our American ancestors once did. Merca. Anyway. <laughs> um... My brother bought me this really sketchy Walmart face mask, and I figured, let's do it. You guys know I get all sorts of face masks from just, you know, Ipsy. I'm, I've bought some from, like, Forever 21. I've seen them. They sell them everywhere. So I was like, let's do this. At least once a month, maybe every two weeks, I don't know, because I usually get two in an Ipsy anyways, and I get an Ipsy once a month, so that would be like, that that would make me be able to do, but I don't know, sometimes I don't get them in Ipsy. I'm just rambling. Anyway, so I was like, you know what? Let's do this, and I figured I'd start off with something sketchy that scares me and might even hurt. And just so you know, I will not be talking for the full 20 minutes. Then I'm supposed to leave this on my face. I will talk for like, I don't know, eight. And then, because I want to make this video like ten minutes, you know. It's already a minute long and I'm just rambling. Anyways, let's, we'll figure that out as I go. Does this, I think I gotta cut it open. Does it tear open? Oh, it tears open. Ugh! <coughs> It smells so gross. It's a black seaweed peel off mask. This smells like something you get from Wish. Like, that's how gross it smells. Oh, man. I wore a shirt I could definitely get dirty. You can tell it has stains on it. This is my I'm, a do I'm doing something messy kind of shirt. Ugh. This definitely feels like something you get from Wish. It's disgusting. Oh, I don't like the way that it feels. Oh, oh, it's got all up in my hair. Stupid little baby hairs. Don't know how to be. I got myself a mirror here. Oh, I'm gonna get this all over this palette. That's a really pretty palette packaging, too. I'm gonna try and do it so you guys can see me. Oh, it's dripping! Anyways, let's spill some tea, shall we? I'm 17 now, it's official. I'm a dancing queen, according to, what is it, ABBA? Is that an ABBA song? I'm a dancing queen, young and sweet only 17. I did my first escape room the other day and um, we did not win, my friends and I. We drastically lost. Like, bad. I say we got like, my brother works there, okay, and he said that we got like two-thirds of the way, so it wasn't, wasn't like awful. But we did not do good at all. <laughs> but at one point, <laughs> one of my friends and I just stopped and sang the Big Time Rush theme song. So, I mean, one could argue we weren't trying our hardest. But we were trying. Oh, uh, oh man. That just dripped everywhere. Walmart! The lady applying it, she makes it look so darn easy. I didn't bring, oh, I got a towel, I got a towel, I got a towel, okay. We're gonna lay that, oh, man. Oh, uh, I'm just a mess. Well, I guess this is a metaphor for my life, so. That's great. But yeah, it was, it was a fun escape room. We got um, a discount because we're students. So that's, you know, really the reason we went, because who wants to pay 20-something dollars for that? 
and you can pay 15 because you're um, in high school. I mean, if anything's going to come out of high school, I hope it's a student discount. You can get them at the movie theaters, too. I can't wait till, like, I'm a teacher, because that's, like, my goal in life is to be a teacher. And then I can just be like, um, let me go to the office, ask if I can have a student ID, and then I can just pretend I'm a student, you know? Like, I wonder if the people at the office will let me do that. Maybe if I become, like, best friends with the office lady. We can fake being students. <laughs> or I'm, I might just, like, keep my college one and hope they don't check the year, you know? <laughs> Life hacks with Holly. <laughs> Ew, I just leaked it a little. But yeah, guys, I don't really have any tea to spill about, like, you know, love life or anything because I'm single forever, always. Have been, always will be. Because here's the thing, you know. I've got a banging personality. Like, I'm talking, like, killer. Like, just absolutely everyone wants this personality, you know. <laughs> but, like, I don't know how to express my personality all the time. Like, as you guys have seen, like, some of my videos, I'm really awkward. I don't know how to fix it. It's just like, it's a personal problem. And I really feel like it's hindering my ability to have a relationship. But if I'm being honest, guys, am I, I'm like, I'm not even girlfriend material. Like, I'm boyfriend material. Okay, because like, I cannot. But like, Okay, here's the thing. I say I'm boyfriend material because, like, I'm used to doing, like, boyfriend things because I have, like, a lot of female friends, you know? But, like, I don't always do things that, like, most females do. Like, I don't always enjoy shopping at a mall, which is, like, a female stereotype. But, like, I've been at the mall when my friends are trying to shop for, like, a dance or prom or something. Trying to get some good, like, prom shoes and I just gotta sit there and like wait for them to walk out of the changing room and be like, oh yeah, you look great, you know? So like, I would be a great boyfriend, you know? I carry things for people, I'll like pay for things sometimes, you know? Like, I'll plan things to do, you know? Like plan, plan the dates or whatever. Like that is just a very boyfriend stereotypical thing to do and like, you know, that's stuff that I would do. I'm a very, like, I'm a good boyfriend, basically. But the thing is, I'm not a boy. And I would like to be a girlfriend. But, you know, my relationship would be very different. So I need to find a guy that would make a good girlfriend. So that I can be the girl that would be a good boyfriend. We can just have, like, a little flip-flopped relationship, you know? You feel? And I mean, like... That way, everything would be right in the world of my relationships. But really, you know, let's let's look at my type. Like, what is my my type and guy? Um, well, funny, definitely got to be funny. If you're not funny, I cannot speak to you. Like, honestly, like. Oh my god. Like, I could not even have a conversation, I don't think. Unless there's something... Or unless, like, you find me funny. If you find me funny, like, I can at least talk to you. You know? Um, my mom thinks I'm really funny, so... <laughs> That's why I'm still talking to her. <laughs> okay. Anyways. I don't really have, like, a, a type look-wise. I'm, I'm very versatile in what I find attractive. Um, and I don't have like normal I find that attractive because my friends will find like these people that like you know I could see a lot of people finding them attractive my friends found them attractive and I'm just like I mean I guess but then there's people who like they're like oh no no, no I could never like no and I'm just like what are you talking about like they're like real attractive you know 
So it's just like, I have very um, obscure taste, we'll say. Um, so, you know, it's not even really look-wise. It's definitely personality for me is the biggest. Because, like, we're probably going to spend most of our time at this age texting anyways. Or, like, on the phone. So I'm not really going to see you. You know, other than, like, FaceTime. So I really don't have to find you all that attractive physically. Though if your personality is good enough, I will just automatically find your physical attraction, attra appearance attractive. You know what I mean? So, I really need to find a guy with great personality that likes me for having a great personality. Though I don't really have a personality. I should start a timer. You know, so really what we need in this day and age is more guys with great personality. You feel? Because a lot of guys these days are like, trying to be hot, but are they trying to be great personality? That's not, a, that's not a phrase. I need like a good phrase for that. You know, I don't even, I don't even like tall guys, you know, because I'm, I'm five foot. I'm five foot and a half inch according to my doctor so I don't really need a six foot guy coming up into my life you know like what am I have you guys seen the kissing booth like I don't need that kind of height difference where like the dude has to kneel for me to be able to kiss him you know <laughs> like I, I need you know five eight also maybe too tall so you know them five six dudes who feel like you're too short Come hit me up. You're six inches taller than me. You five four dudes, hit me up. Like, I'm open to it. Oh, more tea to be spilled. My boy band is coming to my um, state. Not really my city, but like a couple towns over. Twice in the next few months they're coming um, for this event. Uh, in a few weeks, I think it's like two weeks from now, two and a half weeks, three weeks, two or three weeks from now, and then they're coming in October on their tour, and I'm so pumped up, because the event they're going to in three weeks is free, and then their concert in October is only 25 bucks, which, you know, is kind of expensive, but it's also like pretty cheap for like a concert, you know? But yeah, I'm like so excited. Someone told me about the event today and it like made my day. Like I'm so just... It's like when people like actually pay attention to what you post on social media and stuff. And like they like actually read it and they like remember that stuff about you. Like that alone would make my day. But like the fact that they like saw something and they were like, Oh, you know who would like this? Holly. And like, I mean that's just, that's such a great feeling, you know? It is just like, well, I got water on this. I need to take a thumbnail. <laughs> okay. Well, I am not going to talk anymore because I'm sure you haven't even made it this far. Um... I will see you in the peeling phase. <laughs> it's been 30 minutes. It's been zero seconds for you, but 30 minutes for me, and it's very hard to talk. <laughs> oh, I can feel it peeling just moving my mouth. <laughs> there should be like a peel off your peel off mask with just moving your face. <laughs> But, oh, jeez. I feel like some of it's still wet. That's why I waited 30 minutes instead of, they say, 20 to 25. And I was like, yeah, right, Walmart. I've never, like, successfully done a peel-off mask. Oh, no, it broke. It broke. Oh, my God. That's close to my eye. 
Oh my god. Oh, it's like stuck on my nose. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, ah, uh, my hair. Okay. Ole? Froje? Okay, I'm back. It's been a little bit under 15 minutes, maybe? I'm not quite sure. My lighting might have gotten dimmer. I'm sorry about that. Um, that's just unfortunate. But y'all, while I was waiting, I decided to watch some YouTube videos. And guess what I found out? Angela from The Office has a baking channel with her hubby. So I'm gonna link that down below because you know this is spilling tea and doing face masks. It isn't just about the face mask, it's about the tea as well. So I'm gonna link that down below. I just watched the episode with um, the lady who plays Meredith. Meredith Palmer. Very interesting. Well, I shouldn't say very. It was interesting. Um, yeah, even though I can't eat <laughs> what they make because of my diet, I still want to watch it because it's Angela from The Office. <laughs> oh, oh, geez. Oh, that part's in my eyebrow. Please don't take my eyebrow hair with you. I don't need to lose hair up there. I need to lose hair under them. So overall, let's review this mask, shall we? It smelled gross. Their whole thing was it's supposed to make me feel like I'm on vacation at the beach, like a tropical island. Um, it did not. It actually stressed me out intensely. Um, so I gotta say, I mean my skin did feel pretty darn nice when I got that initial thing off. But I can't tell if that's because it felt super gross with the mask on. Or, like, if it just felt nice, like it was supposed to. So, since it did feel nice afterwards, I'm going to give it, um, we're going to give it a 6 out of 10. Now, I am going to hit my, my face up with some toner. So, first time I'm using this toner, this is the Clean and Clear Essentials Deep Cleaning Toner. I typically use a different toner, but... Uh, that's just because, like, that's the toner that I ended up buying, and it's almost out, so I went ahead and bought this. And you're just supposed to, um, clean your face thoroughly before applying the product, and then just put it on the cotton pad, and, um, just put it on your face. And I only did this, because look at Look at that. We just picked up all that extra stuff that would have just stayed on my skin all day. Now, since I've already toned, I'm going to hit it up with some moisturizer as well. This is also a new moisturizer for me. It's Pond's Dry Skin Cream. Now, when I went to this Sephora class that I did, um, they measured... We, it was a foundation class, so they went ahead and measured um, how like oily and dry my skin was. See so what skin type I was to give me like a good foundation and moisturizer for that. And they told me that my skin was dry. So I've been using a lot more moisturizer and stuff. And recently I've been feeling, well not even like using more moisturizer. I've just been like keeping up with my skin routine. And recently I have been feeling like my skin is a lot more oily. But today I started using this moisturizer. And like I haven't felt oily yet. Which was really nice. It's just... A really nice thing so it might have been the moisturizer I was using which was from Lush but it was a sample from Lush from like a while ago so honestly I could have just I could have just been using like expired moisturizer 
But yes, so this is the cheapest moisturizer they had at Target, and that's why I got it. Tea spilt. I don't like spending a lot of money on my skin routine. Or anything, really. I, I really don't like spending money. Um, I'm also... Where'd it go? Oh, I'm also going to be putting on my acne serum. Um, acne Defense Daily Treatment Serum. It's from Merle, Merle Norman. It's um, a makeup and beauty brand. They have, like, their own stores and stuff. And I'm sure they have an online retailer. I haven't checked. If they do, I will link it below. And if they don't, I'll put it down below that they don't. Um, so, yeah. This is just supposed to, like, help with acne and stuff. And since we all know that I get <laughs> the normal dose of pimples for being a teen, definitely need to smack it up on my face. And this is the second time I'm moisturizing today and toning. The first time I'm putting on the acne defense. I didn't put it on this morning. But yeah, so if you guys liked this, let me know. And I'll do it once a month, maybe twice a month, or just whenever I feel like it. Um, I know this video is a little long, so if we want them shorter, let me know. But like, this time I had to like apply the face mask. Usually it'll just be a sheet mask and spilling tea. So it won't be as long. This is just a little bit of a longer mask to do, so. You know? I uh, actually just looked in the mirror and um, my pores down here on my chin that were dirty actually, you know, seem to, to have been cleaned pretty well. Um, you know, there's still some stuff up in there, but um, for the most part it's gone. So I'm actually going to have to up my thing to a 7. A 7 out of 10 on this face mask. So that's pretty darn good. For a Walmart fat face mask that I think was only probably like a dollar. My brother bought it for me. But um, yeah, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed. Okay, bye. <laughs>